There's a slime infestation in the classroom. Slimes are in your glasses case, pencil sharpener, tape dispenser, and even the blackboard eraser. Watch and learn how to sneak slimes into school in our new video. Miss Penny Poppins lost her glasses. She can't see anything without them. Not her agenda for the day, not how many students are in class. And Jessica made the teacher a present. A glasses case. She brags about it to her friend, but Cindy wants that cute pink case for herself instead. No way! This gift isn't for you. Oh yeah? Then Cindy's going to teach her friend a lesson. Decorate a glasses case with glasses and stars. To make slime, mix Elmer's glue, borax, and baking soda solutions. Add red India ink. Mix the slime. The red slime turned out very soft and stretchy. Put it into the case. Jessica is ready to give her present. Go ahead, you kiss up. She proudly gives her gift to the teacher. But what's up with this? Maybe Miss Penny can't see so well, but she can definitely feel out slime. She pulls out her wonderful glasses and pulls something icky and pink out with them. Ew! Miss Penny Poppins can barely remove the stubborn slime from her glasses. Here's hoping it doesn't get into my hair. Cindy wants to put her friend back into a good mood. She goes back to the concept of slimes and decides to play a trick on the teacher again. She's got a blackboard eraser prepared for that very purpose. I wonder what she's going to do with it. Cindy sneaks up to the board and carefully attaches pre-made black slime to the eraser. It sticks to the board very well. No worse than a magnet. Miss Penny Poppins wants to erase all the chalk from the blackboard, but it looks like demonic black slime has possessed her eraser. Maybe the eraser is cursed. It's leaking black magic. While Miss Penny Poppins tries to tame this disobedient slime, half the class goes by. It's stuck to all her notes. Miss Penny is very upset with the girls' behavior. Now she'll give them so much work that they won't even be able to spell the word slime anymore. Miss Penny Poppins is taking their punishment really seriously. She wants to teach them everything they need to know for the whole year in one class session. The girls can't take notes fast enough. You need to write at the speed of light to get it all. And how can Miss Penny Poppins pronounce everything so quickly? At the worst possible moment, Jessica runs out of ink. And pencils couldn't handle the strain of all this knowledge and snapped. How unlucky! Thank goodness Jessica has a pencil sharpener. She can sharpen her pencil in peace. But Cindy is having the same problem. She grabs the sharpener for herself. But something's off about this sharpener. Take the center out of a pencil sharpener. Dilute Elmer's glue with water. Add in a lot of glitter. Pour in a tablespoon of borax. Add a pinch of baking soda. Mix together pretty, shiny slime. It glistens when you stretch it. Separate it into halves. Put the slime into the pencil sharpener and assemble the sharpener back together. Cindy is so surprised to find slime hidden inside. I can't believe it! The slime is so shiny, but Cindy doesn't like this sticky surprise. In the meantime, Jessica relaxes her fingers after writing for so long. Our next class is art. Cindy did her homework. She prepared an unusual album with slime inside. Take some sheets out of a sketchbook. Mark up some foam core sheets and cut thin strips. Attach the strips along the perimeter of the paper block. To make the slime, mix liquid soap with cornstarch. Add white acrylic paint. Mix. Add a tablespoon each of glycerin and vegetable oil into the thick mass. 
The soft slime is almost like kinetic sand. Put the slime into the sketchbook. Cindy draws a happy little drawing on her sketchbook slime. But instead of stretching, her slime is acting kind of strange. It doesn't want to stretch. It must be tired or still looking for creative inspiration. And Jessica prepared a whole palette of colorful slimes. Take Play-Doh out of its containers. Mix Elmer's glue with contact lens solution. Add a spoon of baking soda. Mix soft white slime. Separate it into a few parts. Add Play-Doh of different colors to each one. Knead the Play-Doh and the slime together until they're an even color. The slimes end up being pretty pastel colors. They're flexible and stretch well. Put each one back into its own container. Cindy wants to get at least one slime for herself no matter what, since her slime's not any fun to play with. And Jessica has so many slimes! But Jessica doesn't want to share. A fight over the slimes begins. The slippery weapons are going from hand to hand. Why can't the teacher hear the fight? Oh, now I see! She's got wonderful calming music playing in her headphones. Miss Penny Poppins decided to take a break from the school world. Suddenly, the slime war goes beyond the borders of the desk. One slime bomb is flying straight at Penny. Oh no! How will this end? The girls will definitely get punished for this. Mean Miss Poppins will probably come up with something horrible. The teacher asks the girls to show her their weapons of war. Oh, it's just regular slimes. How boring. Miss Penny Poppins' refined nature has encountered slimes that are way cooler. Such as this. Shiny tape. Learn from your elders, girls. Cut old, unused squishies into little pieces and spread them out on parchment paper. Cover them and iron them down. The result is flat, semi-transparent slime. Cut it into thin pieces the size of strips of tape. Wrap the slime strips onto an empty tape bobbin. Put the bobbin into a holder. The girls are so curious about this amazing stretchy tape. It's so thin and beautiful. Wow! Miss Penny really has so much teaching experience. Playing with this slime is so much fun. It holds its shape perfectly and stretches however you want. And the girls had no idea that their teacher loves slime too. While the teacher is busy with her schedule, we sneak an unusual binder onto her desk. A slime surprise is inside. Take the metal clip out of a binder. Use two plastic folders as a base. Cut them to match the size and hot glue the plastic along the perimeter of the binder. Cover the whole inside. Attach foam core borders on the bottom and side. Add acrylic paint to Elmer's glue. Stir. Pour in some borax and baking soda solution. And put in some styrofoam balls. Mix together the unusual slime. The stretchy foam slime looks like a visitor from another planet. It's so huge that it can only fit into a big binder. Miss Penny Poppins looks into the binder. What is this lumpy substance? It's soft slime, of course! It's so pleasant to touch, and it stretches out well. And there's so much of it to love! A great way to de-stress in the middle of the school day. The teacher is missing from her station. Cindy takes advantage of the sudden silence in the classroom to play with her sweet slime. It's so nice! But Miss Penny Poppins is already close. Playing during class is strictly against the rules. I'll have to confiscate your slime for that. But Jessica already knew about the ban on slimes. That's why she came up with defense mechanisms. She hid her favorite slime in her box of school supplies. Mix different colors of glitter. Cover them with Elmer's glue. Add in silver acrylic paint. Put in some nafazoline decongestant drops. 
Also, add some baking soda so that the slime won't stick to your hands. Mix together the silvery cosmic slime. It stretches and flows just like the Milky Way. Put it onto the base of the box. Put staples on top. Jessica takes out her slime. Thank goodness it was hidden so well. Now she can play with it during class all she wants. She can relax her fingers and her nerves. But it's not that easy to fool Miss Penny. This cosmic slime will meet the same fate as the first one. In the court of school, any property can be seized at the teacher's discretion with no explanation. The rules are the rules. No slime in class. Jessica is starting to get bored in class. She borrows her friend's school supplies to perk up. Cindy doesn't care, right? Oh yeah? If Jessica likes taking other people's things so much, how about she tries my new compass? This is a tool with a fun surprise. Take everything out of a box of drafting tools. Print out a picture of a drafting toolkit and attach it to the transparent lid. Pour pre-made liquid slime into the box. Jessica is excited to try the new compass. But as soon as she opens the box, gross slime oozes out. The compass's reputation is ruined. Jessica refuses to use this icky goo. And Cindy uses this moment to take all her school supplies back. Take your slime back, too. And this box! Did you like our ideas for school slimes? Then write in the comments how you'd like to sneak slime into class. And don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss any new slime recipes on Troom Troom.